Hey guys, what's up? So, I wanted to show you my homemade laser cutter project. And I'm going to make it out of uh, old 3D printer parts that I've laid around everywhere. Um, I do actually pretty much have, I think I have just about everything to make it work. Um, got 22 on rails, and it's going to be the base of it. Then I have a bunch of linear rods. And that's actually the preferred method I uh, want to make it out of, linear rods. I've seen a couple designs based on this uh, little wheel design, but to me that's just too inaccurate. I mean, I had the same thing with the 3D printers. I mean, this there's just too much slop in these wheels. So I'm going to go with the linear rod design. So X20 20, 20 piece rails. Um, I have the ingots bearings, but I also have ball bearings too. So I'll see which one works better. Uh, power supplies. I have a 20 amp and a 30 amper. So I might, I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of these external or internal power supplies or like an external, like an AC adapter. Uh, because I mean, you need 12 volts here. And all right, so what else going on here? So, all right, so the controller board. Uh, they are pretty cheap if you want to buy one. Uh, I'm not sure what the product's called. It's called, it can also, it can run a Marlin, but then it can also run a product, I think, called Gerbil or G-R-B-L. I'm not sure that's even the acronym for it. But uh, this is an old printer board that I had, my original printer bot, um, as the built on the stepper drivers. But probably not going to use that because it's super hard to flash this thing. Um, and also have my ANET, original ANET board, also with the, I think, the Allegra drivers, built on Allegra drivers. Um, very loud. And probably not going to use that. But I do actually have an extra MKS JL board. And also extra dynamic like when I upgraded to my uh, TMC 2209 it gave me a bunch of extra 228 drivers dynamic so I'll probably end up using those that I have them and this is a MKS Gen L this is an 8-bit board so I mean I prefer to do this in 30s a bit but like I said the boards are so cheap it's not even a big deal to get like a one specifically for 3D printing or excuse me laser cutting so that is the boards. I already went to the power supplies, and then I got quite a few LCDs over the years. MKS TFT32. I have a MKS TFT35, but I keep that on that extra printer. Um, so I might do this or the 2004 display. Um, what else? Steppers. I have a bunch of extra steppers laying around. So, I should have enough steppers to make it work. So, linear rods. Um, I'm also printing out all the stuff right now for a pretty cool setup here. But, um, that's going to be uh, probably like another 10 hours to finish. Alright. Alright, so the first thing is I had these four, like when I did the bed expansion on my uh, printer over there that you just saw printing, um, it gave me a bunch of extra pieces of 2020 rail. And the cool thing is the hole's already drilled, so I think I'm just going to cut this one down to the exact same height here. Cut that off there. And I'm going to make it square. So I've already bought the, uh, these are M6 uh, th screws. And I actually have a M6 tap. I'm going to tap that in there. And then I'm going to screw it in like that, make it square. Then I also have uh, extra supports, corner supports too, I can use. Um, Alright, so that'd be the first thing. I gotta cut this down to the exact same height and then I'm gonna put them together. And we'll at least get the base started. Alright, then I'll figure out all the other stuff, the controller board, because I still gotta learn the firmware part of it because, um, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be. I, I know Marlin supports laser cutters, cutters so. I don't know if I'm going to go do that, or if I'm going to just try to go with a whole different firmware altogether, like the GBRL or GRBL, I can't remember what it is. But uh, I think it's what Marlin has actually forked off. Um, Alright, so i got a lot of researching to do, and I haven't bought the laser yet, because I don't know if I'm going to go like with a, like a 20 watt laser, for like 200 bucks, or like a $100 like laser for like a, like a 10 watt laser. Alright, I got the frame done there. So I did actually add those uh, 
corner supports there. Yeah, it definitely makes it more dimensionally even when you put the corner supports in. Um, easier to line up. All right, cool. Got the frame done. So next thing I do is wait for that printer to get done printing. But so we're gonna have linear rails going this way. And we'll have a linear rail going this way. And it's going to be like that, you know, back and forth. Sorry. <laughs> so it's going to have a linear rail this way, and linear rail this way. All right, making some progress here. Decided to use like the dryland bearings here. Um, God, what, print didn't turn out very good here. Lots of echoing or uh, ghosting, and the temperature was too high. So, all right. All right, there it is. So that's the uh, first phase of this build. At the end of this video. Um, I'm actually running the dry limb bearings and they're kind of stiff still, so I see that. And that's not gonna be a problem when I'm doing double double access. But right now it's kind of giving me a little bit of vibration there, but that's gonna go away once these get worked in. And also, like I said, I'm gonna be driving them from both sides, not just from the center here, you know. Plus it's not all tightened down yet, but. All right, so the next phase is to figure out, I'm gonna do the uh, steppers. Gotta get the steppers in there. You know, and then I'm gonna use this. Like I said, the whole idea of this build was to use my existing stuff that I had. And so far I've actually wanted to buy screws and stuff, a couple extra screws and nuts, but so far all this stuff I already had. So, not a lot of travel, you know, maybe, Six, eight inches of travel. More on this side. Yeah, actually, by the way, I actually like, uh, if I'm actually going to have more travel, I usually like on the X. You know? I have better quality with the X going back and forth this way than moving this whole gantry back and forth. So the more printing I can go this way, the X, I usually have better quality prints. At least, that's just me, though. So, All right, so, got to figure out the board. Still trying to figure out Gerbil. Um, like, it seems like they only support the Adreno board, so I don't know if Marlin... I think it's, I read some forums that Marlin might support, you know, laser cutting. I think it does. With some mods, you know, you're basically just using fan control and stuff, you know. Um, but, all right, I'll get to that next, but I already did a little research, so. All right, have a new year, 2019.